Hey fam, so we back again with some beans today. Y'all really enjoyed our last red beans and rice video, but we gonna switch it up this time and do it a little different. Here's the smoked turkey tails. They already in the crock pot with some water. I got it on high right now so that can come up to a boil. And then here's some great northern beans. Daddy loves the great northern beans. And then I'm still using the normal red beans. So first, as always, you're going to go ahead and rinse your beans off, or if you want to let them soak overnight, you can. But because I'm doing it in the crock pot, I rarely soak them overnight because they're going to take a long time to cook anyway. So I don't mind. You want to make sure there's no stones in here. You know, just go through it, sift through it. So here we got a um, green pepper. Now, I didn't have a regular onion, but we did have these green onions. And they're going to do just as fine. You know, once you get down here, it's pretty much a regular onion anyway. So I got all the vegetables cut up. We're gonna go ahead and get it in the pot. So add the beans. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and season it up. We have some of this garlic paste. And then I'm gonna mix these two, the chicken bouillon and the beef bouillon. When you mix these two together, they give it like a deeper flavor. So it tastes good together. So we want to add some of that and then have some Cajun seasoning. So we're not going to do too much up front because remember, you still have those turkey tails in there, which has that salt content. So we just want to do a little bit here for right now. And then if we need to season it up more later, we're going to do that. Okay, so here go a teaspoon of beef, teaspoon of chicken, a good squeeze of garlic, the cayenne pepper. And that's good. Let's go ahead and get at a stir. Make sure everything is mixed up. Because we're still going to add one more thing to this pot once to go ahead and reduce some. So that's why I added the, both the beef bouillons and the chicken bouillon. Because we got to make sure we get the other items some flavor as well. Those turkey tails still going to take a little minute to, you know, break down. Right now I got it on high on a slow cook setting. So I'm going to give this about an hour to go ahead and cook and then I'm gonna add the next item all right y'all so these beans are looking good I did forget to put these in before these bay leaves so I'm gonna go ahead and add those about three of them you know to go ahead and give that some flavor um, these have been cooking for about an hour y'all see how now they look nice and perked up and puffed up but they still got a long way to go and these smoked turkey tails is not done yet they haven't broke down but I'm not going to mash them up like how we did the uh, the red beans and rice. These are going to stay whole. So the next thing that we're going to go ahead and add is some kale. I already then washed them, took the stalks off of it. This is going to give our beans another, you know, dimension of some texture. So yeah, let's go ahead and add these. All right, so we got the greens in here. Don't it look like we just making some regular, you know, kale greens with some smoked turkey? But the difference is we got the beans. So this is still gonna cook down and reduce some more. Still got a ways to go, especially now that we done added this kale to it. These uh, turkey tails, they still not tender enough where they falling apart. And that's the main thing you wanna look for as well. This is one of those slow cooking meals. So it's not gonna be something that's gonna be rushed, low and slow. So we just want to go ahead and let this ride for about another two hours and then i'm gonna show y'all how it looks all right so these beans are looking amazing you see how creamy they didn't got and then now you can go ahead and start breaking up that smoked turkey and then the little added touch of greens to it can y'all just imagine how these beans is going to taste and i'm gonna go ahead and just make a little pot of rice on the side just in case anybody wants some because you know you got to have some rice on the side with these beans but i'm gonna let these cook for about another 30 minutes and they're gonna be done y'all so these are done the only thing i added to the end was just a little more of cayenne pepper and then daddy tasted it I just added some black pepper, but yeah, these are done. I took a lot of that fat off, the little extra skins um, out the pot, but he about to go ahead and tell you how it tastes. Now, I ain't even gonna tell y'all I've been tasting it. It's that good. I just been shoveling it in my mouth, but 
This some little chicken I burnt. Ignore that. <laughs> I left it in the air fryer too long, y'all. Some buffalo chicken that Emmy had made. Yeah. Now I'm tasting this again. Now it's already good, but I'm tasting it for y'all now. Mm. It's nothing like a good thing. Now, mind you, this would be extra good during the winter time, mm -hmm. but it's summertime. But I still like a good uh, bowl of hot beans in the summertime too. But yeah, these are where's that? And the last time we made the red beans and rice, it was a rainy day. And then today, it's a rainy day, too. Yes. Kale in it. How you like to add a little kale in it? Oh, yeah. I like that. That's like a nice twist. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I had to go ahead and apply my leathery man mouth. Because you know it's hot. You see it bubbling. It's hot. And I don't even think we need no rice. But I'm going to make some. But... Yeah. But that's good. So y'all go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next one. See y'all later.